Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Hey, who turned off the light? We can't see a thing in here. Uh, hello? Uh, can somebody turn on the light, please? Ah, that's better. Now we can see. That lamp over there is a source of light that allows us to see the things in this room. Well, grab your flashlight because today we are going to learn all about light. Now, it's important that we start off with our main source of light. Uh, can you guess what that is? Of course, it's our mighty sun. That big ball of light in the sky provides the Earth with light to make daytime. While the sun is a natural form of light, the lamp in the living room is man-made light. Let's go outside for a bit. Mmm, smells like s'mores. Ooh, and here's another perfect example of a natural light source. The fire we use to make s'mores is natural light. Uh-oh, what was that sound? Lightning. A lightning is another form of natural light. And, hmm, what about the moon? Is that a natural light source? Well, that's a bit of a tricky question. The moon does indeed provide the night sky with light, uh, but it doesn't make its own light. The light that we see is actually the sun's light being reflected off of the surface of the moon. And for that, mighty friends, the moon is not a source of light. But let's head back inside, because I think it's about to rain and we can look for more light sources while staying dry. When it's dark outside, we can't use natural light, uh, like the sun, to see. But there is plenty of light in here. What sources of light do you see? Well, there's the lamp that gave us light before, but see anything else? Uh, what about the television? Is that a source of light? It sure is. It is a man-made light source. And that means it's made by humans and not found in nature. Well, what about that computer screen? Yep, that's another man-made light source. Even the phone screen is producing light, and so it's another light source in this room. When we don't have the sun as a natural source of light, we use man-made light sources so that we can see, especially when we are indoors and the sun is blocked. Ooh, and look over here. What a beautiful morning. This room looks very different today. Uh, look over there. The window is letting the light from the sun come in and brightening the room. And that's because the window is transparent. Hmm, transparent. What does that mean, you might ask? Well, transparent means that it is clear enough that light can be seen through it. Do you notice that the light is not coming through the wall? Hmm, but what's different about the wall? It is blocking the light, and we call that opaque. That means that light cannot shine through it. Ooh, that sun is super bright today. So let's close the curtains and see if anything changes. Ah, did you see that? The curtains made it a little less bright. The curtains are translucent. Uh, that's when something is between being transparent and opaque. These curtains are translucent because they let in some light, but not all of it. Pretty cool, huh? What do you say we explore some other materials and see how light shines through them? Grab a flashlight and let's see what we can discover. Make sure you turn off any lights in the room so that it's pretty dark. That'll make it easier to see how the light travels. First, let's try a piece of cardboard. Do you think the light will go through it? Well, let's check it out. And uh, nope. That means the cardboard is, you got it, opaque. And how about this glass vase? What do you think? Will the light travel through the vase? Oh, wow, cool. The light traveled right through the vase. And that means it's transparent. Now, what do you think about this paper towel? Ah, uh, this is a tricky one. Let's try it and see. Oh, it looks like some of the light traveled through the paper towel, but not all of it. And that means it is translucent. Ooh, and look at this. This one should be interesting. 
Now, a mirror is made of glass, and we saw that light went right through the glass window. But let's try it out with the flashlight and see what happens. Whoa! Do you see that? The light does not travel through the glass mirror, but something cool is happening here. The mirror is reflecting the light, and that means that the light is bouncing off of it, almost like a ball bounces off the ground. The light hits the mirror and bounces off of the shiny surface. Pretty cool, right? Woo, we have learned a lot about light today. Natural light, like the sun, provides us with light so that we can see in the daytime. At night, when there is no sun, we can use man-made light like flashlights and lamps to be able to see. Even our computer screens and phones are light sources. We also explored the things that light cannot travel through and learned new words to describe it. Transparent, translucent, and opaque. So next time you switch on a nightlight or step out into the sunlight, remember how mighty light can be.